Hello all. So we were taking a boat. Argo CD so far. So we'll see the next important topic. So which is nothing but it's a tracking strategies. Okay, let's go to the topic. Welcome to Foxy Tech. So we'll start. So we'll we're gonna discuss about tracking strategies. So why it's important, right? Any deployments, not only with Argo CD or if you are working on the software deployments team or deployment side. So it's very important to have a better strategy to deploy our applications. So when again, so when it's coming to the Kubernetes, so we have to be so cautious and uh, Argo CD, like uh, tools like Argo CD has a very, very much automated. So we should always carefully, we have to define what we are doing and how our deployment should be done under different, different environments. So it doesn't matter it's for the local environment or the production. So better strategy always help us to have a better delivery goods. Right. So in this video, so let's check about how the tracking strategy we can implement and what all the options this Argo CD is providing. Right. So <clears throat> let's begin. So first thing is like a uh, tracking strategies and why it's important, right? So as we've seen, so it has a very important thing whenever you are doing any kind of a deliverables or in on premises or in internal users or the clients. So when it's coming to the Argo series, Argo CD is providing a several way to track the Kubernetes resource manifest. So, and uh, always be sure about if you have auto sync is enabled in your environment. So please check, is it really important to have auto sync? Why? Because once you have tracked, triggered your deployments or that, sorry, once you committed your changes to the JIT, so if Argo CD detects auto sync is enabled and there is a new change, it will immediately detect that and it deploy to the respective environment, whatever you have defined. So please be conscious on that. So better to avoid in case if there is need, nothing needed, but it's up to you, right? So you can have a better strategy, but this is one thing to consider whenever we are planning our strategies to implement Argo CD tracking it. <laughs> So there is a two repos involved when, it, when we are speaking about Argo CD. One is JIT and another one is Helm. So when it's coming to JIT, so there is a multiple way we can, multiple way we can have the track <clears throat> deployments can be triggered. So one is like, a, let's start from the starting, like a, one way you can limit your deployments is, so with the proper versioning. So if you have a selected version to be deployed, you can give the deployment version names, so version number, or what you can go for it, like you can go with the particular commit. So that will have a best, uh, best strategy, like we are not pushing any changes which is not needed, and only the selected changes will be pushed, right? And uh, that is, this is the best recommendation recommended for the production always. So whenever you are using a production, please use commit, values are exact versions are better to go with the commit shares that is a very best recommendation right so next is like a if you have a pre-production environment or something so you want to have some patches to be tracked like if there will be a bug you want you are working and you want to see how it's performing on the your non-prod environments again or the pre-prod environments right so you can use particular tags or again, you can use the selected versions or you can use the proper tagging. So tagging is helps us here best for the product pre-productions. Okay. So next is like a releases, uh, track minor releases. Like you may have some very much patches or very few changes we may track. So those kind of like uh, things will be happens on the testing environment. So those and all, you can just use some selected names or what you can do some people's we see in a more like people are using a different branches for the like like that changes so if you are using a branches you can go with the branch names so even that is supported in the RBCD. and uh, next is like uh, using the latest so or the head right so it doesn't matter what is happening in your uh, JIT or you, you don't track anything, whatever you are pushing immediately to detect if there is any new change, immediately it will be deployed. 
So this is so cause yes, you should plan it and that is only recommended for non very much local development or low development environments. And uh, please be cautious on this, right? So next is Helm. So Helm is using always semantic versions. We know about it and the how to define the semantic versions. So that we have to be, uh, again, we should sure about how we are using it. So always, if you are using a production, go with the particular version, whatever you are having a full version. So go with the selected number and that is recommended to go with that because if there is a minor changes may have some bug or something. So we no need to, or we should not rush to the things. And if you automated and there is some changes comes automatically, immediately Argo CD says like, hey, yesterday there was a 1.1 and today there is 1.2. I'm going to deploy it on the respective environment. So think about that person is having a bug or some issues. So it will be cause a lot of issues on the production or any kind of environment, right? So always cause is on that. And again, that is the recommended thing to implement on the tracking strategies. So next is if you're using a pre-production, go with the some selected numbers as we see in the example. Like as I told, like 1.2.1 .1 and 2.2. So if you have anything, you can put a range and you can use it on the pre-production because that won't harm us a lot uh, like a production, right? So you can do with that. And again, it's maybe a different for the uh, everyone. So based on your environment, you have to pick the best strategies. And this is in general, we are giving a suggestions. And next is a minor releases. If you have again minor releases like a one point and there will be a multiple numbers comes up. So if you are testing uh, things and you can just push the changes so automatically, you can just turn the QA or testing environments. So next is again, the very complex one, the latest, any kind of a deployments or any kind of environments, you should not, you should be so cautious on the latest option or the star. Why? Because this may be very often it will be released. So, and may not all the latest versions are so stable, right? So, we should always cause yes on that. Always go with this particular version. And if you are using a local environment, yeah, go for a latest. It won't harm us a lot because it's our environment. We know how to back, help, uh, how to drag it back or how we can fix it, right? And it won't harm any of the users. It will be just impact us so we can fix it anytime. So this is what, and let's see some examples like how you can define the details, whatever we discussed now. The first thing is tags. If you are using a tag, like a V1 or version two, version three. So you have to use target version V1 and using a uh, not, Batch, you can use it any numbers so you can just replace it so as like it in the source and the repository urls and the third option you have to use for the target revisions so next is a revision commit ids if you are using any kind of a commit ids so you can use either short num short commit details or the full commit details we're gonna see it on the demo section but this is what you have to do it whenever you can give so it's up to you you can use short or full so you can decide based on your need and if you are using a branches so we took an example of main branch and if you have a different branch name please replace with this here okay and if you want to as a reference like a head or something you want to change it so you can have a symbolic references for your deployments so you can use that even to deploy to create your applications so next is a helm so as we said you like this you can give the particular version so always go with the basic versions if you are using productions right or, or if you want to have something like a ranges so if you want to use range so you can use like this the ranges can be like greater than or equal to 0 0.03 or less than it should be 0 0.04. So anything between that, it will, if it's released, so you can use it or it will be find that and it will be deploying it. Or rather you can just put a something like a 0 1.1 star. So it will pick any minor version on the particular range. Or if you want to use latest, either you can use it like a 
less than or greater than 0 0.0.0, .0, .0 uh, like that, or you can use just star. So star, star will pick a latest version and it will be deployed to the respective environment. Right. So let's see some demos. So this, this should help you to understand how it look like and uh, how we can plan our strategies very better. Right. Uh, so what we did, like we have prepared some manifest for your reference. So we can, you can refer that in our repository. It's already there in our repositories. So to access our repositories, I'll be adding on the description. So still, so you can go to the Fox Tech and Kubernetes Argo CD folder. You can check it on the tracking strategies. So we have six, seven files. We'll see one by one what it's doing and how we can use it, right? So let's start from a tracking uh, using commit. So I have captured some dummy commit here. So this is my repositories and this is my path and I'm just naming as a commit and this is my commit ID. So where I got this commit ID, right? So just I'm going here and I'm going as simple. So this is what I'm given here. Simple is my report path and this is my commit ID. So let's validate. Okay, there is a new commit ID. So I'm going to copy this again. So you can use the full commit ID or if you want to use short, you can use a long one. So I'm putting this and I'm saving, right? So what I'm going to do, so let me be, okay, let it be commit. So I'm using kubectl to apply my changes. My funny app, I'm going to give kubes tracking using commit, right? So yeah, the application is created. Now you can go to your Argo CD UI. So you can track the changes which come in. So what the name we have given is, as a track commit. And you can see one more thing I have when the namespace creation is true. So it will be creating the namespace if it's missing by default. In otherwise we have to create it, right? So this you can see it here. Track commit is here, and this is the namespace it's trying to deploy. The change is speed, and this is a particular commit. Okay, so it doesn't matter if I commit another commit, so it won't pick automatically if we enable the automatic sync also, because again it will be look for the particular commit ID. So you can click this commit ID and go to the commits detail and see what all the changes has been done. Right, so. Yeah, so this is good, I hope. And then let's move on to the next. So next thing is like, a, let's say like head, right? So this is very complex, uh, the very risky one always for the production if you're using. So I'm going to give like a head. So I have named as a track dead. So I'm using a same name because I have. So this is only for the dev environment, please be uh, is be noted if you are using a so even if you have very tight um, sorry, if you have very tight reviewing system and only the proper changes will be tracked on the head so if you have such a confidence please go ahead with that head but if you don't have such a confidence please be cautious on that side and have a very cautious implementation set Okay, so here you can see it's with the head, it doesn't pick the particular commit details. So again, so this is what I, we are explaining. It's a hot pot. Tomorrow there is a new change comes. Um, update immediately this uh, current status will change to out of sync, and we will be seeing the application will be out of state. Right. So third is a tag. So just go for the tag. And I'm using this different repo here. So let me show you the repo also here. So I'm using a function and I'm using a repository. Q8s go nginx, right? So you, you can see it here. I have a version tag called v1. So we have a tag here and uh, we can see this, right? So let's see like if you can 
we can create a new tag. I'm going to use the UI for that. Let's not do it now, but okay. So I'm going to say like this will be a V2, create a tag. Just as a V2 and title, I think I'm going to put. I'm gonna put a publish. Right, you can see there is a new release has been seen. V1 and V2. V2 is the latest one. So let's go to the repo and see that again. So you can see there is a V2, right? So let's change this V2 and the C is it reflecting or not. So I'm changing it like this. And again, so what we're gonna do? So we're gonna apply these changes. All right, so tag is created. Let's go to our Argo CD and see the tag is available. Yes, you can see the tag is available and it took the version called V2, right? So like this, you can have a multiple versions and it will be again, it will be best practice again. So we can go with the selected versions also. Okay, so we've seen about JIT so far. So let's take example of Helm, right? So let's start from Helm version. So I'm in this tutorial, I'm gonna use Prometheus as one of the best example. I have picked the version called 23.3.1 for the demo. And we'll see how we can go for it one by one. So what I'll do, so there is a name. So the name, I'm gonna change it. Helm version, Helm version right so we are going to use the same version so i'm changing to version and rest all let it be there so qctl apply helm version right so this application is created let's go to the helm version and where it is Okay, sorry. See, you can see the version is still it's syncing. So 23.3.1. So our version is 23.3.1. It's fit the exact version. It takes Prometheus always takes a time to sync. So let's not focus on the no, status, but we are focusing only the revisions. So let's focus on this. So we have seen about versions. So next we'll see about latest, right? So let's see that what it's showing. So you can see here I given like a, any version, like a whichever latest, we have to give it the star and please make sure you're using double quotes to that. And again, I'm gonna say like Helm latest to make sure the naming is correct for us. Right, so I'm gonna say Helm latest. Okay, so Helm latest is created. Let's go back and see Helm latest is available for us. Yeah, so you can see the Helm latest is available. So it's yeah. created now and it's star, right? So you, you can see it's picked the 38 as a version. So we have, we are not defined any number. But what it's took, like it's took exact version, right? So this is for the latest. Again, if you are confident with the latest version, use the latest tag. If you are not confident with the latest tag, please use a different tag for your use cases, right? So next is like a range, right? So, so range will be different here. So this is a range target revision. So let's say, let's say like if you want to use any version in the 23, right? So if you want to use any version sub, uh, subsequently, so you can use the 23 star. So again, I'm gonna change this to be Helm, sorry, typo, Helm range. I'm changing this Helm range and QCTL apply. Helm range. So, so we have created the Helm range now, and let's see the Helm range is ready. Okay, so this is Helm range. 
and you can see this is a version it's picked so the latest version in this 23.3 is so this is a one and it's picked that particular version so if you give any number it will see the very latest number version on that particular release and it will be picked so hope this is helpful for you guys so please keep trying and practice it on the lower environments like any kind of a dev or qa environments first before you are trying anything on the production and also recheck your deployment strategies doesn't matter this is for argo city you can use for anywhere right so always uh, avoid to use latest as a tag always use your tag very cautiously okay so because any changes unknownly if that it deployed and that may cause our deployment to be in the risky right so it may affect not only the internal users and there will be a custom from the outside so they will be also affected so just for the best practices please track your strategies and uh, happy deployments thank you guys thank you for your time so enjoy your day so hope this is helpful so if you like just share your thoughts and if something if you say like uh, we can improvise please share your feedback so that will help us to deliver more best solutions or the best knowledge to the everyone so happy learning thank you bye bye